I love a family run restaurant. There's something about it. When you enter it, you walk in, it just feels different. It does feel different. Yeah. You can really feel that difference on one Twin Cities corner with three restaurants all run by the same family. This morning, to Russia Eats with restaurant power family, Molly Broder and her sons. Gigi, thank you. When Thomas Broder creates a new dish, or his brother Charlie pours a cool Italian red, it's not just food, it's family. In the early days, it was just the two of us and a couple of employees. Molly and Tom Broder started Broder's Cucina as a young couple in 1982, an Italian deli and grocery at 50th and Penn. I would sit them on a stool and give them pizza dough to play with while I was busy trying to get catering orders out. Molly and Tom traveled to Bologna, Italy, learning pasta from the best in the world. Are you Italian? No, neither one of us are. <laughs> French, Canadian, and Irish. <laughs> <laughs> In 1994, they opened Broder's Pasta Bar across the street. It's won every award in town. But in 2007, a crisis, the death of the patriarch, Tom Broder. The sons rallied. Because once Tom died, it was such a family business that if they weren't in it, I, it would have lost its soul. And I think I would have felt like I wanted to get out. Charlie took over the front of the house, training staff and learning wine. Thomas became the executive chef running the kitchen. What do you like about Branzino? Um, it's really, really a clean fish. Now the sons have opened their restaurant on a third corner at 50th and Penn, Terzo. Mom really gave us a gift here in allowing us uh, the creative freedom to really do what we want. And we, you know, she really feels that Terzo is an expression of the second generation of, of our work. <laughs> Molly just won huge awards from the Minnesota Restaurant Association and a lifetime achievement from the Charlie Awards. You're not quite ready to ride off into the sunset. I know, it's sort of, you sort of feel like now you're supposed to be put out to pasture, but <laughs> there's <laughs> plenty, gonna happen. plenty more lifetime to come. <laughs> it's like, it's right. But the quality of these restaurants, that food. This tastes like you're in Italy, you're on the sea. It's delicious. And the love from the Broder family makes this corner of South Minneapolis something special. I love it. I love it. It's like having a little Italy here. She's our boss. She's our friend. She referees between the three of us. <laughs> but at the end of the day, she's our mother. It's pretty cool yeah. the way those sons kind of stepped up. There mm -hmm. is one more son who is actually also a chef, but he has gone back to college. He is studying urban agriculture. Cool. So you think you have one son who's the executive chef, the other who is front of house mm -hmm. and wine, and then the other might end up being an urban farmer. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's quite a legacy for uh, a mom and a dad who, uh, frankly, like any restaurant uh, uh, family, do, you don't want the kids to do it. Right, because you like, know go, how hard it is. Go get a real yeah. job, yeah. go make some real money, but uh, it gets in your blood. Broders has been on my list of things to do for the longest time, and maybe now is the time. Now's the time. It's outstanding.